Hi, welcome at Deer Drive. Uh, we now have here the Hymera 200, which is an uh, H2 uh, fuel cell power supply produced by uh, BLC, uh, part of the Linda Group. Uh, we've now installed it with um, a cylinder, a Genie cylinder from Linda, also um, containing 400 grams of uh, hydrogen, which is equivalent of about uh, 7 kilowatt hours uh, net. If you add the, the heat that you're going to produce, if you're going to use that, uh, well, it's obviously double. So what we're now uh, doing here is charging the battery of the outboard electrical motor. It's a Torquedo 1.0 uh, kilowatt, which doesn't sound like a lot, but this uh, little sailing boat is 7 meters uh, and 86 uh, centimeters. And... Um, well, it's, it's, it's a fairly small boat. It weighs uh, 2.3 tons. Um, I'm sorry, I am not uh, converting that into uh, pounds and stuff like that. But um, you can do that online. So, and uh, the interesting thing is about these electric motors is that they have uh, obviously a lot of torque uh, from uh, the moment that you start them, uh, which is quite different from uh, their... Um, fossil fuel uh, brothers um, I like these more actually because you have so much thrust uh, when you're lying still you can really move the boat very easily so what we're now doing is uh, recharging the battery uh, which makes a lot of sense because well it's a fairly small battery it's a one kilowatt hour battery well not not, uh, not quite it's 915 watt hours uh, which is okay for a sailing boat if you're going to use it uh, um, leaving and, and, and entering the harbor and uh, sailing your uh, sails, uh, hoisting your sails, then it's okay. You won't really need um, a lot more. But for example, if you are leaving the port of Rotterdam or for that matter Amsterdam, is quite uh, comparable. You really need to have uh, a lot of, uh, well, you, you're gonna need to use your motor a lot of the times because it's not allowed to sail over there in, in both uh, waterways. So what you're gonna do is, um, if you wanna do it fossil free, you obviously wanna use uh, an electrical outboard. Uh, inboard could be also uh, your, your choice, of course. So what we're gonna see here is, uh, well, this battery is limited to about four amps. Um, we've set it at 29 volts and this battery is so sophisticated that it's uh, well it's actually um, uh, it manages itself what we see here is the genie cylinder uh, well we have a nice low pressure uh, this Hymera can uh, get up to about 10 bars of uh, pressure this genie cylinder of Linda uh, contains uh, normally uh, up to 300 uh, bars uh, you can see here what's left it's just a little bit above 200 bars so we really need to install this properly if we're gonna sail of course that's uh, that makes a lot of sense we could could put it over there uh, in the bottom uh, what we see here is our power supply this is the, the power supply um, from the harbor so we're now cooling our drinks in our little fridge um, uh, via grid power. This is our power supply. It's uh, a Victron Phoenix 12800, which means it provides uh, 12 volts DC. Uh, no, that's the. It doesn't. It needs about 12 volts DC, but it can actually go up to 17 volts, uh, which is nice because we have a lithium battery in this boat. Uh, I can tell you more about lithium batteries uh, because they have a lot of advantages over. Uh, the old-fashioned ones, uh, well, probably a lot of people uh, do not use lead acid anymore for various reasons. But, uh, well, uh, there are other, other reasons to do to not use them, but use lithium instead. So this is uh, the 220 volts AC output, which you can see over there. So let me just skip to the battery over here. What you see here is the lithium uh, battery. Um, this is for the, the grid and this is the lithium battery. It's, um, it's about um, 
uh, what, uh, 120 amp hours. Uh, I don't really like measuring in amp hours. I rather uh, use watt hours. So it's about 1.2 kilowatt hours. Uh, it has its own indicator on top of it, uh, and you can press it, and then you can uh, see what's in it. Well, I can't reach it right now, so uh, we're going to do that later. Um, so this battery is under 10 kilograms, uh, which would be something like 20 pounds or something. Uh, we have various ways to charge it. Uh, we have two connectors, Anderson connectors that is. Um, and what is interesting is that battery is, well, it's obviously uh, a solid battery, so it will never produce any hydrogen with uh, combined with oxygen. Uh, well, as you may know, that we at the driver are not quite impressed by the dangers of hydrogen because it's fairly safe if you just know how to use it. So, um, well, yeah. Um, but if you have a lead acid battery, uh, you could end up making um, uh, a mixture of hydrogen and um, oxygen, and that's uh, that's this explosive. But uh, hydrogen in itself is not explosive, uh, which you can see over here. It's flammable like uh, gasoline uh, or diesel, but it's not explosive by itself. You really need oxygen to uh, to reach that point. Um, well, from uh, other points of view, the the cylinder is uh, very sturdy, so it would be very hard to destroy that. So let me look over here. Still charging. Let's go outside, guys. We have here uh, the little thread going, specially made. Here's our nice motor. So um, we could look if it does something if we start it up. And yeah, it was at 62%, now it's at 64 So it's doing a nice job. Well, it's searching for GPS and stuff. This is the actual motor. So, we can also run it now, Let's see. I just keep it running, we are pretty tight here in the harbor. Let's go back. Let's see what it does. Hey, that's nice. Still charging. Hope you guys can see it, guys and girls. Still charging, so what we're now actually able to do is uh, draw power and provide power to the uh, battery of the electric uh, motor. So that's interesting because this is a 200 watt power supply. Um, this will actually wouldn't be 200 watts. Would be a little li uh, a little less, I guess. Uh, for the, well, just over a little 100 uh, 100 watts. So. But the whole thing is, if we would uh, be moving with this boat with, let's say, um, uh, 300 watts, which, which will make uh, this boat move uh, fairly easy, um, then, well, you would end up with using your battery a lot uh, more of the time, because it just runs out, uh, uh, well, much later than uh, when you don't have this power supply. So, uh, that's about it. Uh, this is our little test. Uh, works uh, fine. Uh, we should do something with the threads, I guess, but uh, the cables, um, but it's okay. We'll be fine. Best regards from um, um, the Kaag in uh, Holland. I uh, hope you have a nice day and see you next time.